Who says music videos need to be original to be successful? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 music video parodies of all time. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at more videos that turn heads by making fun of or paying homage to other artists. Number 10. When Will the Bass Drop? The Lonely Island featuring Lil Jon. Taking dance music to task, the SNL crew gets very surreal to poke fun at Avicii. Hyping up the crowd, Da Vinci hovers his hand over the bass button while playing on his computer. Cooking and even playing with toy skateboards, he's clearly not taking his job seriously. But hey, he's still got all the power, and he milks it for all it's worth. Get turned up to death! With some help from Little John, he finally drops the bass, causing the crowd to literally lose their minds. With heads exploding across the dance floor, the music causes some fans to commit seppuku. Thanks to the crazy visuals and supporting cast, this video is way weirder than expected. Get turned up to death! Number 9. Bowie, aka Bowie's in Space, Flight of the Concords. Though it's set in space and starts with a riff clearly inspired by the song Space Oddity, this music video manages to pay homage to a wide range of David Bowie material and characters. Ground control to major tom. Not only do Brett and Jermaine give nods to Bowie's filmography with shots reminiscent of The Man Who Fell to Earth, they also pay lip service to memorable tracks like John, I'm Only Dancing and Sound and Vision with their cheeky lyrics. Receiving transmission from David Bowie's nipple antenna. But things really take off when their version of Halloween Jack appears. Of course, the ending, which pairs outfits and moves from Modern Love with music inspired by Let's Dance, cements the video as a truly inspired parody. Number 8. My Band, D12. D12 takes all the misconceptions about them and goes to town mocking bad fans in the process. They make Eminem the star of the show, and he gets special treatment like massages, when he's not being mobbed by groupies who also happen to be played by Eminem. Up, My name's Slim Shady. I'm the lead singer D12, baby. After getting riled up, Bizarre decides to get in shape by working out on the set of 50 Cent's in the club, claiming his importance to Eminem's career, Bizarre then goes on to claim he was in Lose Yourself and Superman. Next up, they try to start a boy band and turn into a vulgar version of the Backstreet Boys, with plenty of parody and self-deprecation, D12 closes on Eminem's Latin take on Milkshake by Khalees. Love songs are even more beautiful. How beautiful are today's love songs? Number 7. Repeat Stuff, Bo Burnham. I love your hair, I love your name, I love the way you say it. I Bo Burnham is clearly not aiming for subtlety with this shot at commercialized music. Setting the stage for his critique, he dresses up as Justin Bieber and pulls a variety of visuals from pop videos, then proceeds to rip into vapid listeners who relate to cliché lyrics and overused chords. Repeat stuff. Yeah, repeat stuff. While the extras act increasingly braindead, satanic visuals slowly come into focus. Then, there's the subliminal messaging flashing on screen. For example, instructions like consume and accept convenience fees are littered throughout the video. We know it's not In the finale, Burnham takes things up a notch when he kills a girl and eats her heart while audio of Hitler plays underneath. But until then, we will repeat stuff. Number 6. Girls, Girls, Boys. Panic at the Disco. Here's an example of how a parody can simultaneously be both funny and a heartfelt homage to the original. For their free love anthem, Girls Girls Boys, Panic at the Disco remade D'Angelo's iconic untitled music video. Directed by DJ Bronner, the video is one long shot, just like the original, and with the camera zooming in and out, it revisits that classic naval shot more than once. 
in Yuri's physique is significantly less muscular than D'Angelo's, but by bringing his unique energy and distinct dance moves to the party, the frontman gives a captivating performance in his own way. The clever concept earned the group more than 50 million views. Number 5. Hey Ya! Outcast. Set up to be the Love Below's British performance, this video is a clear play on the Beatles' historic Ed Sullivan appearance. Putting in overtime to bring the concept to life, Andre 3000 reportedly performed the song 23 times to get all the shots, but the end result is certainly worth it. He's a one-man band in a group made up of eight members. Just like its inspiration, cheering can be heard throughout most of the video, while Ryan Phillippe delivers a spot-on imitation of the deadpan announcer. Credit where credit is due, Nirvana spoofed Ed Sullivan first. But hey, this concept is clearly good enough to support multiple parodies. Alright everybody, let's hear it for these three nice, decent, clean cut young men. Number 4. Girl All the Bad Guys Want. Bowling for Soup. This pop punk group has a real penchant for parodies, but they're at their best in this video, which sees them taking their overly serious alt rock and new metal contemporaries to task. Starting by taking on Stained, they replace the lover photos with dog photos and handwritten lyrics with tic tac toe. The funniest lampooning comes from the wide shots of the pain singer, revealing he's actually on the toilet. Switching to Limp Bizkit's Break Stuff, the video then sees guitarist Chris Burney dressing in West Borland's kooky makeup and robes. With fake Slipknot members attacking Jared's Fred Durst, Bowling for Soup even tackles the feuds between bands, proving that when this group does parody, they don't hold back. Number 3. Don't Lose My Number – Phil Collins If you can't pick a subject to parody in your video, why not just do them all? Dueling through a western and driving the deserts of Mad Max, Collins feels out of place. When the black and white close-ups of every breath you take don't work out, he attempts to emulate David Lee Roth instead. He even tries his hand at a samurai film. After giving the fly from You Might Think a good swat, he finally decides to work on an ending instead. Funnily enough, this clever meta concept actually came from Collins' inability to decide on a video idea, so they shot a mock version of the process behind it instead. So how does it end? Number 2. Hopeless Wanderer, Mumford & Sons you heard my voice. It takes real character to parody yourself. The boys of Mumford & Sons were so committed to this joke, they didn't even appear in the video, letting comedians Jason Sudeikis, Jason Bateman, Ed Helms, and Will Forte play them instead. Rocking out in fields and barns, the comedians play up the band's rustic aesthetic. Of course, things get uncomfortably intimate fast when the boys start wiping and tasting each other's tears. Shredding their hearts out in the finale, they destroy all their instruments in the excitement. Surprising and delighting fans with a hilarious casting switch, this video garnered millions of views within a matter of days. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. White and Nerdy – Weird Al Yankovic They see me mowing my front lawn I know they're all thinking I'm so white Al's geek culture power anthem is filled with nerdy Easter eggs. Spoofing chameleoners Raiden, Yankovic raps in front of everything from a flare Pac-Man to the Schrodinger equation. 
replacing his grills with braces and a gat with a soldering gun, he's not exactly thug, but he sure is funny. I ain't got a gat, but I got a soldering gun. Adding to the humor is Key and Peele's comedic acting, as well as Seth Green's love of toys. Al even sneaks in a dig at Atlantic Records by editing their Wikipedia page to feature the words you suck. Shopping online for deals on spreadable media. I edit Wikipedia. I memorize Holy Grail really well. I can recite it right now and have you R O T F L O L. Money to nerds and non nerds alike, White and Nerdy earned the love of Chameleonaire himself and became Weird Al's first platinum hit. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. I'm just too white and nerdy. Look at me, I'm white. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.